What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Sunday. Where has the time gone? It is almost April. This year is flying by the year of XRP. Listen, this video is going to be about one thing and one thing only today. We are talking about the relisting of XRP on exchanges and why we got the clarity from the SEC needed just the other day. I'm going to play you a couple of clips directly from the SEC lawyers stating that these exchanges can list XRP because it is not or it will not fall under a security. It is exempt from some kind of rule. They're going to go over it. We're going to review it. But first, like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Hit that bell. 50% of you listening to my voice have not subscribed for the channel. Go on. Take the two seconds. Hit the little subscription button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Hit that thumbs up. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter. XRP News underscore. Listen, the market looking good. I know we're seeing a little bit of red this morning. But yesterday, XRP did touch 55 cents. It was a nice little run up. Total market cap still sitting at about 1.7 trillion. Bitcoin dominance did come down just a little bit, 60.2%. I'm thinking Bitcoin's going to retrace and then we're going to see these alts runs. I think BTC has run out of steam. I've said this before and I've been proven wrong because Bitcoin has continued to go up. But I really think that time is coming. And let's remember, XRP, it's not going to miss the bull run, especially when all these exchanges re-add XRP. What do you think is going to happen? That price is going to shoot. Once we get the official settlement of the lawsuit, that price is going to shoot. The Kin token did a 40x. The Kin token wasn't listed on any top exchanges like Coinbase, Binance, Binance US, Bittrex. What do you think XRP is going to do when it comes back? A 40X is going to be peanuts, people. You have to know what you're holding. You need to know where we're going. Here's the price of XRP for, the, for those of you looking at the screen. We're at 50 cents. Still good. We need to hold above 50. It's up 13% in the last seven days. Not too shabby. Can't complain about that. All right, let's get into it. As you have probably seen from the thumbnail of this video, what does it say? You got that guy yelling through the microphone. Relist XRP. That is right. We need and we demand XRP to be relisted on these exchanges. Up first from XRP Patience. Make sure you give him a follow. He puts out amazing threads, multi-part threads, discussing, reviewing, and giving his opinion on a lot of different XRP topics. He put this out. The top. 0.01% of XRP accounts have added 37.5 million XRP today. Just thought I'd mention that. XRP is definitely going to zero though. Sarcastic face. So we know that those 0.01%, we know a lot of those are exchanges. So why are exchanges loading up on XRP again? Because they are going to relist it sooner than you think. So here's the first video. This comes from Bank XRP. This was from the hearing between the lawyers and the judge that just went down the other day. It says that in Section 4, the ex exempted by statute, XRP is able to be sold and traded by anyone and everyone so long as they're not Ripple or Ripple's employees. 56 seconds. Have a listen. This comes from the SEC's lawyers, people. Listen to this. The individual defendants violated Section 5 every time they sold it. So forget everybody else who's selling XRP. These individual defendants violated Section 5 each and every time that they sold it. Well, Your Honor, so, uh, so I'm sorry, what was the question about the other individuals that were selling? Well, presumably, under this theory, then, every individual in the world who's selling XRP would be committing a Section 5 violation based on what you just said. Well, well no, that, that's not quite correct, Your Honor. Uh, so the statute, the Securities Act of 1933, has sort of a registration provision under Section 5 and then an exemption provision under Section 4. And broadly speaking, uh, the Section 4 exemptions, and I'm, I'm speaking very generally here, um, if, if these are transactions by people in the market, they're, they, they're exempted by statute. Uh, Section 5, though, focuses... The individual. All right. <clears throat> so what you just heard, you heard at first the judge was speaking. 
she was kind of trying to wrap her head around it saying so what you're telling me is that everyone in the world who sold xrp was selling a security then the sec's lawyer stepped in he said no that's not exactly right the people selling and buying xrp that are not ripple or the ripple employees are exempt from the security rule under section four so the sec just gave clarity that exchanges can relist and sell xrp because it is not a security just ripple or ripple employees are not allowed to sell xrp because that makes it a security and that's what this whole lawsuit has been about it's about the xrp that brad and chris sold it's about the xrp and escrow that ripple the company was selling to so so far our our claim or that's not even the right word i'm looking for the xrp and escrow that ripple was selling to fund their business that is what's going on here they are after the escrow they are after the sales of the escrow that ripple was profiting and making money off of those sales they do not care the sec does does not care let's be very clear about this that coinbase uphold binance bitrex that they sell xrp because they are exempted through section four so there is absolutely no reason why any of these exchanges should not have xrp relisted on their platform now it was never removed so for them to do a relist because it was just suspended should not take more than five minutes they should be able to probably just to change the value in the back end say hey put xrp back in the markets here we go i believe it's coming i think it's coming soon i think within april we start seeing these exchanges come back we just seen crypto.com put xrp back onto their exchange do you not think that they're listening xrp is a money maker people buy xrp in bundles these exchanges are all about making money what do you think they're going to do then we move over. This is from Jeremy Hogan from Legal Briefs. Have a listen to this. Jeremy always takes these cases, these lawsuits. He reads the paperwork. He sits through all these meetings, these conferences, the pre-trial hearings. And he breaks everything down in just such a simple, layman terms that me, you, the average day Joe, knows what is actually being spoken about. Listen to what he says. So listen to this. About halfway through the hearing... The judge skeptically made a remark to the SEC attorney that based upon his theory, everyone who sold XRP, including you and me, are selling illegal securities. And she was skeptical about it when she asked the question. And this is what the SEC lawyer said on the record. He said, no, under Section 4, only Ripple and affiliates of Ripple can have sold XRP illegally. Listen to that again. The SEC said that only Ripple and employees of Ripple can illegally sell XRP. Now, why is that super important? That means that the exchanges that delisted XRP two months ago were not and would not be violating securities laws if they relisted XRP for sale and began to sell it again. And I think I saw recently that one exchange recently relisted. And so I wonder if there are perhaps a slew of non-action letter requests coming or already received by the SEC. And if so, I wonder if we will see XRP for sale in the US of a once again. I hope so. Anyway, it's extremely late here as I shoot this and I have to sleep. There you go. Listen, I think he nailed the right to Jeremy. I think the SEC has sent out a ton of non-action letters to these exchanges, letting them know that, hey, don't you worry. XRP is exempt under Section 4. It is not going to be security. You can please... You can go ahead and relist it. You can start selling XRP. You are exempt. Don't worry about this. I also believe that Ripple Form Ripple Labs 2. Ripple Labs 2 is the one that has or that sells a lot of the XRP. Ripple Labs 2 was the one announced by FinCEN in the Department of Justice that that XRP was labeled as a currency. I think Ripple Labs 2 is just going to be fine. What I think comes out of this lawsuit in law case, I think XRP gets its clarity. I still firmly believe that Ripple, Brad, and Chris will be slapped on the wrist and they will be fined for their sales how big of a fine i don't know but quite frank frankly that doesn't affect me and you they have the money you saw how much money they made from selling xrp let them get fined let's move along with this thing tons of thousands or hundreds of thousands of xrp investors in this world got destroyed because the sec failed to do anything about this for seven years and now you're hearing the sec lawyers come out 
and say, in this case, it's just getting underway that these that the exchanges are able to to sell XRP because they exempt. It will not be labeled as a security. There is no reason this wasn't put out there before. There was no reason that this was not stated or cleared up before, before all these exchanges started ripping XRP off and we saw it crash from 70 to 80 cents where it was about to break a dollar and shoot up all the way back down to about 20, 17 cents, give or take. There is no reason for it. Let's keep it moving. From XRP Crows Status, he puts out those amazing Instagrams. This one comes from the judge in the SEC versus Ripple case, Sarah Netburn. She says, and I quote, my understanding of XRP is that is that not only does it have a sort of currency value, but it also has utility. And that utility distinguishes it, I think, from Bitcoin and Ethereum. Is that correct? I love that quote. The judge actually understands what XRP is. She says that XRP has a currency value. Me and you know, if it's a currency, it can't be a security. Me and you know, the Department of Justice and FinCEN have already labeled XRP. Who do you think that the judge is going to look at when she gives a, when she gives direction, when she gives clarity on XRP? She's going to go back to that case. She's going to look at the Department of Justice with Vincent and what they have already ruled. The SEC has overstepped their boundaries. It's that simple. And then from T.O. Benning, XRP, look at this. The Eastern Caribbean Central Bank digital currency created by BIC goes live March 31st, 10 days from now. Bit is partnered with IBI, IBIS for the blockchain technology, which is built on Ripple. Let me show these articles before I tell you what I think is going on here. This comes from the New York Carib News, March 20th, just yesterday. It says EC digital currency will go live on March 31st. We then move on over. IBS Management Associates Inc., a Caraco fintech company, enters into a MOU with Bit Inc. And then... From IBIS, the Swiss route, a branch of a, a branch out to our new payment destinations. What do you see in that infograph? A big old ripple symbol flowing down the street. What do you see in the bottom right? Ripple's logo. It says joining RippleNet gives you access to software to enable transparent and reliable cross-border payments. So what do I think's going on here? Well, Ripple just put out a white paper discussing. That the central banks can run a private ledger. They print, as, I, as I said in layman terms, they give the central banks, <laughs> excuse me, they give central banks a copy of the XRP ledger. They allow these central banks to build out whatever they want on top of the, on that ledger. In this case, it's going to be a central bank digital currency from the Eastern Caribbean. When they need to move money cross border, because we know they're working with Ripple and Ibis, how do you think they're going to do this? Private meets public at some point, some way, some form. XRP is used. The liquidity is moved. They do not have to hold dormant accounts filled with other currencies because XRP is going to be the universal bridge asset. That's how this is going to go down, people. That's where I'm going to leave this video. XRP, hashtag, relist XRP. Make it go viral. Go retweet the tweets. Go tweet it out. Tag me in it. Let's blow this thing up. Enjoy your Sundays. Enjoy your March Madness. I gotta go to work. Wash your damn hands. Be nice to be kind of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.